Greetings, 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 and a welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. I'm Lisa, your host. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, today is March 15th as we march forward. Today's session or segment <laughs> is going to be on luck. Why did I choose this is because in a day or two, uh, it's in two days, it's going to be St. Patrick's, St. Patrick's Day. And you know the story of St. Patrick's Day and the saint that so many called and believe is the lucky one. And everybody wears green. So today I wore the only green thing that I have. It's more of a lime green, but green and having my beautiful plant next to me which i always have it's the topic is are you really lucky or do you create your luck so let's discuss um uh, how do you do it do you believe you are lucky or do you create your luck so before i go any further i want to say something i don't know about luck or lucky but I have for years and years been saying that I have parking angels so anytime I go anywhere uh, I always find parking a parking space to park either in front of it or whatever I just say angels parking angels angels where's my space and lo and behold there's always a parking spot that it opens for me so am I creating my luck or is this what happens right am I lucky or have I started to create this luck so do share what you think about yours and if you create your luck and what are you lucky in so put that way there was a time that I used to good afternoon hi Mark how are you sweetheart there was a time that I used to walk my dog and late at night about 11 o'clock we would go walking around and everything and believe it or not because there was like all this um, parking meters the old ones uh, that you know you would put the money and then the coin the extra coins would be in there or something like that and I would walk and then one day I just put my finger in that slot and I found a quarter it's like Maybe they put it after the hours or whatever, and there was a quarter. I'm like, wow, lucky charm, right? So guess what I did? I set an intention that every night I'm going to find minimum of one quarter. There was a time that I would find more than a dollar, like in 10 cents or a quarter or something like that. So every time I would go walking my dog, it was like this on a, a, a dollar hunt. And the more I had expectation, it was like the lucky charm would bring. And there was times that I would only find uh, a penny on the floor or something like that. So, you know, the old saying, you find a penny, a penny found is yours. And then it's like, if the penny is heads you pick it up if it's tails you don't I think no matter what you find if it's a penny if it's a dime if it's a quarter even if it's a dollar right you pick it up and you say thank you you say thank you to however the money has shown so that ritual I call it a ritual creating my luck as a ritual I also did the same thing with a gift or every time my clients would pay I would pick it up and say thank you thank you for the abundance thank you for giving thank you for appreciating and sometimes some people say well I'm not the lucky one because seems like no matter what I do luck does not come to me 
But what if, you know, what if luck is like a scientific thing and you too can create it? Hi, Sita John, how are you? So, Mark, Seta, do you believe you are lucky and you can create your luck? Or you don't, you're not one of the lucky ones? So, did you know that science, science says that those who are lucky, number one, they smile more. They are more optimistic and they are more observant, you know? The same way as I created my luck with the pennies. Actually, here's one thing I just remembered. There was a time, there was this one time we went walking and it was I don't remember where we were. It was during the day. It was not my ritual of at night. As I'm sitting, it's just like I felt like a tap, but it was nobody was around me to tap on me on my shoulders. And I turn around, I look, and there are like a stack, a stack of quarters just right behind me on the edge, right there on the uh, brick. And I look at it and I'm like, a stack of quarters and I just picked it up and I said thank you so it's like did someone really put this here for me and I picked it up and I was walking around I get into my car and then believe it or not it's like oh my parking meter is running out and I had the stack of quarters so I just put the quarters in there and I had money for it so yes Mark says, yes, I am lucky. Exactly. So when we believe to be lucky, we also manifest more of the same. It's, I think it's so much about our own attitude. It's some say, well, I am lucky in money or in gambling, but I'm not lucky in relationships. Some say, well, I lucked out in having my partner, but I'm not big in gambling. So the other day I go and I buy, um, you know, the lucky, uh, you go to the stores and it's the lottery tickets. And not only a lottery ticket, but you know, the scratchers. As I'm standing there buying something else at 7-Eleven, this guy says, oh, great. And the guy at the cashier is giving all the money to him. And I looked at him and I said, wow, you're lucky. He says, no such thing as luck. I buy and I know I win. So the cashier and I said, people really win on the, the, the scratchers because I have not won, not even a dollar. He says, oh, my God, this guy is winning every week. And he buys $10, he buys $3, he buys $1. Last week he bought uh, like one of those $5 ones. He says he bought, he won $200. Today he got $100. I'm like, he is lucky. So some just generate it. And I think positive expectations truly help us in creating and manifesting whatever we want. In the work that I do, the same as when what we say hypnosis is delving deeper and visualizing, visualizing what is it that you want. Because when a client comes here and says, let's say an example, I want to drop weight or I want to become a non-smoker, a part of our visualization during hypnosis, when I'm embedding the suggestions in there, is for you to visualize just living walking around as a non-smoker, feeling good, smelling absolutely wonderful, tasting your food the way it's supposed to be, right? In this beautiful scent that whoever comes near you, they are surprised that it's not the smoke or the stench of that tobacco and smoke, but you smell so wonderful. And the ones who 
are sleeping well, you imagine yourself sleeping so soundly that in the morning you awaken and you are so fully rested and feeling good and healthier with brightness. Uh, the ones who come here for dropping weight, it's like you see, you visualize yourself in the body that you want to create, embodying every essence of what it is that you envision yourself to be. Thinner, healthier, stronger, with better muscle tone, your body contoured the way you imagine yourself to be. The size when you get on the scale, this is exactly what you want to be. And then asking the conscious and subconscious to agree. So in a way, is it luck? No, we visualize it. We think it first and then we visualize it. And then we come to believe what we visualize what we affirm and reaffirm and then come to expect it and then see it happen <laughs> see it's a whole process so in a way you too can do the same process you can sit in the comfort of your home your office no matter where you want it to be you can close, actually, before you even do it, write down what it is that you want to create. Write down how you want luck to manifest itself. If you want to buy a house, if uh, the ones who want to get married, the way they want to look, where it's going to be, who, uh, who else is going to be in attendance, what kind of a music, the flowers, everything. Believe me, brides create this. They visualize it, right? When we want to work somewhere, Mark says, I agree, right? So all that is when you embody what it is that you want. I'll tell you this secret. Change happens. I've said this over and over. Change happens when you want to distance yourself from the pain. The pain is so bad. It's so excruciating that you say, you know what? I no longer want to be in that place. And those that want the reward. And the reward is so great that we can't wait to have it, to taste it, to embody it, to live to that moment. You want to be the success and whatever success is for you. So starting today, march forward on this March 15th, two days before St. Patrick's Day, St. Patrick's Day, may the saints abundance may the saints grace it be upon you with you surround you god's light be with you so let's come up with few suggestions that helps you create this luck write it down number one keep an open mind Keep an open mind that no matter where you go, what you do, from this day forward, you bring luck to you. Hmm? Keep an open mind that from this day forward, you are lucky. Okay. Number two, look on the positive side of everything. Everything that happens. Yes, the cliche, it's not happening to you, but for you. But why is it happening for you? What can you do with this message? What can you do with whatever that comes your way? And if you think of it as an obstacle, what if you change that and say, instead of an obstacle, what does this experience show me? What am I supposed to do with this experience? So many speakers that I know in my profession, uh, the stories that we have, the examples that we create, even comedians, most of them talk about their own life story. 
So if certain things do not happen for us, then there is no story. What can I share with my clients? What can I share with my constituents? What can I share with you, my audience? So it is those stories, experiences that we had, like finding the money, being having the parking angel. So the other day, being in that moment in the store with that guy and seeing how the money was being given to him and I said he is lucky is that like inner child within me was so excited and I went and bought a scratcher yes I won four (laughs) dollars so it's not how much I won but that you know the lucky charm worked for me even four dollars is a stepping stone to greater and bigger things. Now, I can take that $4, put it in my little kitty, uh, and then turn around and say, oh, it was just $4. Or I can say, yay, I won. Luck was with me. Or I created my luck for today. And that's exactly how everything starts. Even millionaires are not millionaires in a day. Well, they might win the big lotto, the super lotto and everything. And they did it. It's not some people say it was my first time that I played it. It's my first time uh, I went and gambled and it, it was my lucky day. But if you didn't go... If you didn't go and say, here, I put $1 or $10 or $30, whatever, I am expecting or I am hoping to win, then it wouldn't happen. So just like accidents, there are no accidents. There is a cause and effect. So why not? Do it with an open mind. Why not do it with a smile? Why not walk in there with an optimism and say, and if you didn't win or it didn't happen, you turn around and say, not this time. I will keep an open mind and I will play again, do it again. Coming in late, my computer was down. It came back just in time to tune in. Now that's my luck. (laughs) Really? See, this is what I call. It's your luck that you tuned in exactly at this very moment. And welcome to the podium, Adrian. Sunshine flowers. So, the next one is do something different out of the ordinary. And when you do something quirky, different, it's like you're shaking things around right? I had a client that came in the other day and said, no matter what I do, it's not happening. So that day I said, what if today is the day that it will happen? And he says, well, I hope so. And I said, "Uh, uh, uh, uh-uh-uh-uh, not with that attitude. Say, today is the day that it's going to happen. And are you ready on the count of one, two, three? Let's do this. It was the most profound session we had had. Truly. It was the most profound session he had. Experiencing hypnosis. Seeing things. Feeling things. And he went into his trance state so deeply and said, Oh my God. Today was the best. So sometimes we have to create magic. Number four, be more social. And when I say social is, you know, there was a test done by a psychologist to see who is lucky, who is none. And one of the things that they found out that lucky people look at things in a different way. 
And those who feel they're unlucky, they are so focused. They're so focused in one thing that they are not giving themselves opportunity to see things beyond what is. So be more social. When you are out and about, say hello to the people passing by. And they may not say hello back to you. But when you smile, I even said, do this um, experiment. As you're walking, no matter where you are, just turn around and smile at people. And as they're walking by, say hello or good morning and just walk by. And believe it or not, some may not respond to you. But it's okay. It's not about them. It's about you giving to them. It's you saying hello. It's you giving them a bright moment. Even if you think, why should I do that? And why not is my answer. Why not? Why not be a bright star to someone else's life? What if something is not good in their life? It's not happening at that moment. Ah, and just your smile. A beautiful good morning. May you have a good day will brighten their day. Maybe not even immediately, but it will energetically linger. You never know how we make a difference in someone else's life. And if you can, do so. And I'll say why. We talked about imagining and stepping into it, right? Because what we think has energy. What you imagine has energy not only from the outside, but also from the inside. And when you come to believe, believing your luck, believing what it is that you want, you desire, you want to create, and you truly do. Maybe not at that very moment, but it does happen. And as I've said it many, many times, be careful what you wish for, because wishes do come true. They do. And the last one is, as you give and share, realize if you think it and you are here, it, and you share it, you give more, you give this beautiful words of wisdom, good morning, a smile, believe it or not, it's a boomerang. Just like something negative or gossip, a loving gesture, a loving word also has a boomerang. You've seen that video commercial that one person does something good for another person and then you see, ah, this person turns around and does something good for another person. And as they are showing that person is walking around and someone drops something and they pick it up and they give it to them. And then it brightens that person's moment and they say thank you. The thank you is my thank you to what you just did. The same way is my thank you to finding the coins. My thank you to my parking angels. My thank you so when my clients pay Every time you go and cash a check, say thank you. Every time you get paid, say thank you. Every time someone hugs you, say thank you. When we say thank you, we are appreciating. And that creates more love, abundance, manifesting your luck. So... That's beautiful. My Maya is always with me, different charms and everything. But I do believe in my lucky charm. I do believe in my logo, which is the lotus, the three, 
and in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, me, myself, and I, mind, body, and emotions, you know, I believe in the power of free. And no matter what we do, we truly create our own luck. So I thank you for being here. Yes, thank you, Mark. Yes. What we call not only tulips, my favorite flowers, flowers of hope, daisies, that are shining and bright, yellow, even the smile, the smiley face, yellow, emojis, yellow. Why? Because they brighten our days. With that, <laughs> thank you so much for all of you who show up to help me be present. And I look forward to being with you each and every week. So with St. Patty's and the grace of St. Patrick's and all the saints, and all that you believe in. May their grace be with you in God's light and universal light surround you. Thank you for being with me on Heal Talk Tuesday. I am Lisa, your expert clinical hypnotherapist and action coach. And until next week, goodbye. See you next week. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. And if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here.